When you get into the plane, you're actually entrusting your own life to people you don't know. I know it may be an upsetting thought about what would happen if, and we don't want to go there. And there are those who also fear flying because they don't know anything about the pilots sitting in the front of the plane. Well, it's time to discuss who these pilots are. So let's take a look into the unique profession of airline pilots, and I already want to assure you, it's hard to find such a profession. In our daily lives, we are surrounded by people with vital professions who carry significant impacts on our lives. These are taxi or bus drivers, doctors, teachers, elected officials, police officers, and firefighters, just to name a few. We depend on them very much, and we have very little information about them. So what do we know about pilots? Yes, you probably know that our training processes are long and tedious, but did you also know that a pilot loses their license every six months? Yes, that's really true. Every six months we take a reevaluation test to renew our license. It's actually not a test, but a series of tests and processes we repeat every six months, and some of them every year. You want a breakdown? You got it. Every six months we enter this facility, the flight simulator, which on the outside looks like a spider, but on the inside looks and acts just like our cockpit. Then for four hours we practice handling emergencies and dealing with all types of weather phenomena. Inside the cabin sits a senior pilot who reviews our performance, and if we do not deliver the high standard required, we do not get our license. This training slash test is done for a day or two, and only after that will our license be renewed. Not so fast, Ken. There are many other requirements that we need to accomplish, and we need to pass them all. Once a year, we are joined by an evaluator for a line check, a normal flight in which they check how we fly on the line or simply conduct a regular mission without them initiating any malfunction or participating on us. They do this to make sure that even in the routine, we do the job properly. It is actually like a driving portion on your driver license exam, but much more evolved. This line evaluation takes the entire flight, sometimes lasting more than eight hours, and it happens once a year. But there is more. Knowledge tests that takes place as often as once a year not some simple tests, but a series of different tests where we refresh our knowledge of the aircraft systems, procedures, and rules. Periodic health checks, training days, all of these are determined by the requirements of the law, which are an international standard. Do you know of any other professional in your life who passes such a series of exams and tests on a continual basis? And secondly, once the mail service is finished, I'm sure you'll try and get some sleep over the uh, course of the flight. 